Last time we met the pen tips, I ended up pretty disappointed with them. But I left off having good feelings about the company, hoping they would return with better things. Well, now they are back. Did they bring the bacon? I want to give a shout out to my psychic man Daniel. He commented on the original video saying he wanted me to review the Pentips 2. Two days later, Pentips themselves reached out to me, offering to send me a pair to review. Crazy. I happily wrote them back and sent them my list of demands. It basically says, I will happily take your product, but you have no influence over the outcome and you will not get to see anything in advance. So Pentips sent me these products free of charge and I get to keep them. Or what's left of them, I should say, because I discovered something that could render your pen tips useless in a matter of minutes. More on that later. The original pen tips, now called pen tips light, didn't really live up to the claims made on the website, in my opinion, scoring a 2 out of 5. The pen tips too are available in black and white and now come in sets of 3 instead of 5. They will now cost you 50 euros or 55 dollars. The increased cost is not for nothing though as they now address one of my biggest gripes with the original pen tips or pen tips light. They are no longer just a little condom for your tip. They are now a whole new knob. No more loose tips. Bravo pen tips. Bravo. Maybe this time I dare to do the drop test. No still not enough subscribers. They also did some clever thinking with the box itself. It is now a plastic, hard to open hard case with slots for your tips. You can place your apple tip neatly inside it and then play maracas when it comes loose, which is every time you touch the case. Oh yeah, and this can happen. Just press it back. It also has a pen holder slot. I thought it was uh, redundant at first. Then I used the first gen Apple Pencil and it immediately made sense. The box feels well made and I love the size for a small box. But if you take the contents into account, it seems a bit spacious. Makes me wish I could put something else in there as well. So how does it feel to use the pen tips too? Much better than the originals. The blunt feeling is now gone and the slimmer tip gives you a lot more precision. I guess they now feel like I always expected them to feel. But are they worth the 50 euros? The originals are just 20 euros. Are the pen tips too really 150% better? Let's compare the two to see if this product has evolved, shall we? Drawing. The Pen Tips 2 takes this one by a landslide. While the old ones felt like a crayon, these are now closer to the feeling of a pencil. Not quite like a good old HB, but at least this good. Increase control. With the lights, it felt as if you gave up precision for control. Now what I mean by that is uh, that, that the thick tip obstructed the view, so I couldn't really see what the tip was up to, but at the same time it gave me added friction on a bare screen. With the sharp tip of the second gen, we now get friction and precision. Reduce clacking. Unfortunately for the old ones, this was my favorite feature. Fortunately for the new ones, this is no longer the case. Sort of fortunate. You see the pen tips too still reduce clacking. Kind of. It's more of a change in sound than a decrease. Compared to the lights, it's a big difference. Listen to this. That's quite a difference. Protective layer. The primary reason I bought the lights was to protect my apple tip. And you would think that this is a given win for the new ones, since the old ones always fell off. But the old ones was an outer shell for your apple tip. The new ones are the tip. And yes, your apple tip will be safe, tucked away in Fort Knox Jr. But the pen tips too might need some self-defense classes from the lights. Paper-like screen protectors will eat your tips. I was doing some shading when I suddenly stopped working 
and I looked at it and it was eaten through down to the metal. So I did some further testing with my second pen tip. I simply shaded the entire screen to see how long it would take for the tip to wear down. Then I did the same with the pen tip's light. To my surprise it wasn't as bad as my initial results. It was still noticeable but I didn't reach the metal as fast as I did initially. Then I remembered I was using pen tip's own screen protector which has a rougher texture. So to sum it up the pen tips too are more sensitive than the pen tips light and the rougher your screen protector the faster the wear. I wouldn't use a paper like screen protector with the pen tips too which is kind of bad news if you already have a screen protector on. If only there was a removable one. Now pen tips have probably noticed this because now they have a hard and a soft version. The ones I have are now known as the soft version. If the hard ones are anything like the originals they might hold up well but they are made more for people who write and draw so I would still be hesitant to use them with a paper like screen protector. Side note, if you bought the pen tips too before there were two versions, pen tips offer you a 50% discount on nice. the hard ones. Value. Ah, the value. The lights really got whooped by the Apple tips replacement pack in this category. Thanks to some subjective math, they ended up 17,000% more expensive than an Apple tips replacement pack. If I were to make a similar calculation with the pen tips too, they would probably be even worse. They cost more and you only get three tips. But value is not just about the money. The pen tips too now offer something that the old ones simply did not. A good experience. Is it worth 50 euros? Hard to say. Pen tips no longer gives you an expected lifespan so it's not easy to say how long they will last you. And if you want to use a paper like screen protector, you kind of have to get pen tips own one since it's removable. Oh yeah, they sent me that one too, so I'm reviewing it. Uh, link in the description when I'm done testing it out. You know what? You can also subscribe and press the, the uh, notification icon to be notified of new videos. Last time it was pretty easy to give a recommendation. The lights achieved a 2 out of 5 and if you were hoping for anything else than one of those two, I didn't recommend the pen tips. Let's tally up the score for the twos. They are now nice to draw with on a bare screen. They increase control, they slightly reduce clacking, Yay. like half a point. And while they suck at protecting themselves, they do protect your apple tip. That was the criteria. And by that logic, it also decreases wear on your apple tip. The value is subjective as always, but now they have a lot more to offer. Will I be buying more? Well, for me, it will come down to how long will my remaining tip last. Time will tell. Now, if you want to see how long they last for you, feel free to use the link in the description to get 5% off. I ended the last video complimenting the pen tips team, hoping they would release a product that was useful for me. And that worked! So this time I am hoping for an alien abduction. I always wanted to see space. Until next time. Hello?